Five at the place where Mike was shot and killed. Jeff? Good afternoon. It is indeed familiar territory. The Sitco station behind me in center point is closed until further notice. Police are looking for a suspect who killed a 29-year-old man with so much promise. Broken glass, pickles, and boiled eggs on the floor. Police say there'd been a struggle, and in the end, Mike Ganji was shot and killed by a single bullet. In a tragically ironic twist, I was at this very gas station six months ago and talked to the victim who had just witnessed a colleague shot in the back, right here. He just pulled a gun on me, then he asked for the money, and we did this, whatever he asked us. But Mike's friend Ben was shot and wounded. He since recovered. Back then, Mike told me both of them had escaped terror in their native Kenya at the hands of terrorist groups like Al-Shabaab. Because we run from stuff like that, then come here for rescue, then this happens. It happens when we get here now, you get confused. You know, wonder why, I mean, what's happening, you know? Yeah, it's crazy. Now it is Mike who has fallen victim six months later. The entrepreneur with a wife and three children and infectious grin, suddenly gone. You shocked me, honestly. I'm still shocked. Uh, you tell me he's dead. I see him every day. He smiles. Antoine Smith had run an errand with his friend Mike just hours before. Yeah, happy guys. Keep a smile and, you know, just joyful, man. You know, so. So sad, man. Life goes on. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he is in a better place right now. Uh, right now, Mike's survivors in America are gathering for memorial service in the Atlanta area. Then in a few days, Mike Ganji will be buried in his native Kenya. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we asked the owner of this store if he might have been able to do anything better to protect Mike Ganji. We're reporting live in Birmingham. Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13.